another edition of Down by the Turtle. Jake Starr joined by Matthew Kroon, infielder, outfielder, Swiss Army Knife, offensive stalwart for this Fight and Fails team. Matt, first of all, appreciate you joining us. How's everything going? Going good. Just getting uh, second half underway. Um, looking to have a good second half, win some ball games. So I think the words that describe you this season has been consistency. Offensively, it feels like you haven't really peaked or valid. You've kind of just been at that peak all year and have kind of stuck with it. What's been the key really to staying so consistent at the plate? Just staying consistent in my routine, uh, coming in every day, working with Henson, our hitting coach, working with the other guys, trying to take bits and pieces from uh, what worked with other guys and uh, put, it to, uh, put it to use for myself. And defensively, you've kind of dabbled between infield and outfield this year, a lot of time at third base, a lot of time at all the outfield positions. Is there a key to staying fresh at each spot when, you know, hey, I might not have played right field for a couple of weeks, but I can kind of get back out there and feel like I haven't missed the beat? We just try to get our work in at every position every day. Um, the more time we have, the better, whether it's infield that day, whether it's outfield. Um, just trying to get a little bit of work at each position every day. That way you're ready to go when it's time. Of course, back this year after missing all but two games in 2022, to have the success that you're having after what transpired a year ago, what kind of confidence and how does that feel to have that success? Yeah, there was a lot of mystery coming into this year for myself. Uh, I didn't know the type of player I'd be if I'd get back to that player that I was before I got hurt. But um, after a good month and a half into the year, like I, I feel confident again. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm just trying to keep it going. Is there ever a point, whether it was in the rehab process last year or maybe early on in this year, where your mind was able to kind of shut off any thoughts, if there were any, of you know what could happen with any re-injury and kind of just get out there and just start focusing and playing baseball and having fun? Yeah, we just try to stay away from that type of energy, honestly. I, I try not to spend too much time thinking about what has happened, and I just uh, look forward to what can happen. I try to play without that thought of being injured again, and that way every day I can just put my best out there. Been in the Phillies organization for a handful of years now. What can you say about what it's been like playing within this organization? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of lot of veteran minor leaguers in this locker room, if you would. A lot of guys that have been, whether it's with the Phillies or with another ball club for a while. So uh, we have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge in the ball club uh, right there in that locker room. So it's nice to get open conversation with everybody, see where everybody else is at. That way we can keep moving forward as a team. And what can you say about the experience playing here in Reading? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, I didn't get to get a piece of 2022. Uh, from what I heard was that was back to normal because in 2021 we were still kind of under the COVID restrictions and not everything from what I understood was how it used to be. Uh, but from now what I understand it's kind of back to normal with the amount of fans that are in the ball field, the energy that they bring, uh, whether it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it doesn't matter. There's always a bunch of fans having a great time. And about this locker room as a whole, I, I think it's a very close group of guys from what we see. It's a very loose group of guys. What's been the key to kind of keeping things so loose all year long and just continuing to believe in one another? I think that we do a good job of when it's time to focus up on baseball stuff, we do that and when we're away from the field, we get together, we hang out, we have a good time, whether that's going out to eat, when we're on the road, whether that's finding something short to do with the time that we do have off the field. Uh, but yeah, we just spend a lot of time together, so we have some good chemistry going. Matthew Kroon, we really appreciate the time. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Have a good one.